everybody, welcome to Backstage Access. I'm Host Satoshi. Uh, for today's review, we are doing the movie Pinocchio. So, a little bit of backstory to Pinocchio itself. It was first written in 1883 by author Carlo Collodi. After that, it was redone as a la as an animated version by Walt Disney. Uh, that one was released January 23rd, if I remember correctly, 1940. And an interesting note about that one was that it, that one wasn't a box office success. I think that was like one of the lowest films that Disney ever had. One of his highest was uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So Disney was hoping for the magic to continue with that one. However, Pinocchio wasn't that successful in the box office. Of course, over time, it has become a favorite amongst adults and children and for generations as one of the best Disney movies around. So that's the little backstory for Pinocchio itself. Now, the one we're going to review is the 22 version. Um, let's get down to it. So, this is a remake of the 1940 version. They kept most of the story in there. However, they did add a few scenes in there to have the story more developed, which is good in some parts of it. And other parts where it actually should have been true to the original, they took out some scenes. And that's where uh, I wish they would have kept kept the truth to more of the original. However, due to changing times and opinions, I can see why they did it. So, spoiler alert, this is what they took out and I wasn't really too happy with it. One was when Pinocchio is drinking. He is drinking, however, he's drinking something else. I wish they would have kept it true to the original drinking scene right there, which would have made it more interesting in the context. That's what Disney should have done. Put a disclaimer that some of the scenes were done originally as intended due to the opinions of the time period. Number two is with him smoking. That scene is completely eliminated from the movie. I wish they would have kept it in there. Um, again, social reasons. Smoking is now harmful, which I agree with them 100% on that one. Just that it should have been in there originally, just to kind of have more of the context. And there were a few Easter eggs and references in there that I enjoyed. However, there was some of those Easter eggs where it seemed out of place, even though it didn't make sense. I guess they just like threw it in there just to kind of, kind of like, okay, it's a nod to this. So it felt a little bit off and others actually did make sense based on the time period that Pinocchio is set in right there. So uh, the original songs are all in there. When you, when you Wish Upon a Star, one of my favorites. They have the classic version and then a little bit of a remix in there, which is what I noticed. Also, another classic song is I've Got No Strings Attached to Me. One of my favorite songs is also in this version right here. So th those are nice additions to the movie itself. They kept those songs at least in there. Uh, so I'm gonna give Pinocchio a eight out of 10. It is currently streaming on Disney Plus. So go ahead and enjoy it this weekend. You know, I recommend also check out the original version so you can compare the 40s to the new 22 version and see how much better or worse they did it in your own opinion. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, folks. For now, this is Satoshi. Be safe and bye.